back everybody, the Pro Spartan Gamer with FIFA 15 and episode 19 and Everton on their mighty charge for Premier League glory maybe, hopefully guaranteed top four Champions League over next year which was one of our aims and also don't forget in the, the FA Cup final against Chelsea at some point. This is an away trip to Aston Villa, we are on a 20 match unbeaten run. That's the side we're putting out. No real changes. A side that's been doing so well of late. And the bench is looking pretty much the people we're looking to keep for next season. With maybe the exception of Morales. He might go to pastures new. But we decided that Abina, um, Capel, Cavario um, and Magidi can all leave the club. And also some of these fringe players like Hallam Hope. And that can also go in the summer and we will bring in some fresh blood so a few changes afoot but let's go on into this game um, it's rainy it says at Villa Park and there you can see big game against Aston Villa pouring down here in the Midlands for the big trip to Aston Villa for league leaders Everton can we do enough a point would guarantee us top four against a tough Villa side it's not going to be easy but the form we're in of late been mercurial 20 games unbeaten now it's been a great run in the second half of this season we've come so good and we've been so good good ball in dangerous all right great save from our to keep it at nil nil just before the break here villa showing their first bit of an attacking attempt right before the break just get rid of this come on boys Come on, out. Big adder in the box, right on the stroke of half time. Big second half to come here, just avoid defeat. And we get top four football next year. We won't make any changes just yet. We'll wait and see and hopefully stretch it again in that last 15 minutes like we like to and like what we have done so many games this year so far really stretched it been in the game until the end and then stretched it Coleman's the out ball ball into the box oh what a save is that Lukaku right there I'm not sure which one but it's a great chance and it's the first chance of the second half for Everton and Guzan is equal to it Really big save. Everton pressing though. Oh, wouldn't drop. Still not gone. Keep the pressure on, boys. Good ball, Bartley. Bartley cutting any net one. Oh. Balls in there, Lukaku! Oh, ball down, referee, surely! Great ball. Baines. Ball down on the edge, surely, ref. No. Bit of a home of the ref today, I think. A couple big, big challenges. It could have been blown up for sure. And Everton could be caught on the break here. Our tips are over, 20 minutes to go. We will go for that expansive formation in a minute where we'll look to put on the sprite -y wingers as long as we can get the ball out here. We do. Survive the corner. We will also take off Ross Bartley and bring on Cardenius. So, three changes. Really gone for it. Freshened it up. Giovinco's come off as well. He hasn't had his best game. 20 minutes to go here. Three changes made. Marias, Veloy and Cardenius to add pace in the final third. With 20 minutes to go. Can it unlock the door? Hoping it will. It's Veloy. Cardenius, Veloy. 
There's a goal! The two substitutes for Loy and Cardenius. The two Colombians combined beautifully to get the goal. It couldn't have happened any better than that. Off the bench, the two substitutes. What a run from John Valoy. And then composure to pick out Cardenius, who bangs it in. What a substitution from the manager. Pace in the final third when the other teams are tiring is definitely crucial in FIFA 15. It's a good ploy. We change formations every time in the last 15 of it's a tight game. And we've done it again today. And Valoy, who got the cross to set up the winner against Burnley, has just produced another moment of magic. Don't know if it's enough yet, though, because there's still a game to be won here. Wanyama does very well. Kevin Morales. Finds Cardenius again. Oh, just couldn't release the ball for Lukaku. Baines, lovely ball. Romano Lukaku out on his feet, but still putting in a shift at the top. Brilliant. Cardenius. Finds Waniyama. On the post. Oh, I went lucky. What a great counter attack from Everton. They've come to life here. Stayed in the game as long as they could. And now they've come to life with those changes. That injection of pace. Cutting Villa to shreds there. There's a free kick to Leighton Baines. Ooh, just over via the deflection, corner kick, job nearly done here. Waniyama just rattled the beans on toast a minute ago. McCarthy, oh, chances, chances and more chances to sew this game up. On the swinger from McCarthy. That hits some poor unsuspecting geezer straight in the nozzle. In the crowd there. Claret all over his face. His blood streams from his nostrils from the poor shot of James McCarthy. Still a job to be done here, Everton. Overlap. Villa coming strong here. Great save from Timmy Howard. Keeps us in it. Keeps it at 1-0. Villa. We haven't buried this game and we should have done. It's not all over yet. Their keeper's up and everything. Howard gets it. Throws it out. The break's on. Their keeper is out. We go for the shot. Has it got enough legs on it for McCarthy? Oh, it's just wide. What a chance. Just drifts wide. There it is. What a win at Villa Park. We go 21 games undefeated. And another massive win. Courtesy of Sherman Cardenius off the bench. That is a fantastic win. And something for those travelling fans to take home. What a good goal. What a great result. No, you never know. We might lift this crown. We might lift this title yet. We'll have to wait and see other results. But we're certainly in with a chance. Leighton Baines comes away with a man of the match performance. Could have been one of quite a few in my opinion there. The defence was so good again. Chelsea win. Spurs beat Man City. So that is good news for us I think. Let's have a look at this table now. Christ, Man City, if they win their two games now and they're only level on points with us, there's only three games to go. Nine points, we cannot be caught now. We are guaranteed top four football next year. Job done. And hopefully we are almost guaranteed, yes, I think we're almost guaranteed top three as well. But we may even win this league yet. Remarkable effort this from Everton to come from nowhere, to be honest. And it's looking like, Got a real chance now of winning this Premier League in Season 1. Next up will be a difficult tie against Sunderland. Now you see the table hasn't changed much. But if we get points here, I think we're guaranteed top three. But it's looked like we may even get a chance of winning this title. Amazing stuff. Game against Sunderland to come. 
Goodison Park should be rocking. Let's get this team right for the game against Sunderland. We're going with that narrow formation to begin with. Change it. Ed Air will get the start. With Lukaku, although Lukaku is showing signs of tiredness. He's got not too many games left to get to the end of the season, though. Just get this side right. McCarthy showing signs of tiredness. So Besic will get the start. Baines is quite tired. We'll leave him out of the side as well. Colin Winner, Corey Stones can come in in the middle. Waniyama, very tired. A few tired bods about. Veloy gets a start instead of Bartley. So we're having to shuffle the pack a little bit here. Try and get through to the end game, which may well be the title. I'm not sure. It's rainy again at Goodison against Sunderland. A win here will guarantee us top four. Absolutely pissing down on Merseyside. The two wet pricks will be here, I expect. Tyler and Smith trying to get a little bit of the action. They've been hanging around all season. And we've had to mug them off most games. And there's the, there's the table. And it's looking like it could be Everton's glory year. Sunderland are in the realisation zone. So you would expect nothing but a home win. There's the two tits. They've turned up. They're going to get soaked because they're not going to have a... They're not going to have room underneath my brolly. They can get out in the rain and drain. Come on, boys. Can we do it? Beat Villa at Villa Park 1-0. Beat Burnley 1-0. 21 matches unbeaten now as we take on this Sunderland side who are 18th in the table. And we are, we've got glory in our fingertips, really. FA Cup final to come against Chelsea as well. But first and foremost... We need to secure top four football, Champions League football for Goodison Park next year has been confirmed. Can we get in the top three, which means no Champions League qualifiers to play, I think. Aloy, good little ball down the channel. Ed Air. Great play from Ed Air. Oh, and a good strike. First real action for the Sunderland goalie. Good move from Everton. Been keeping the ball there for a long period of time. Just trying to control the football a little bit better. Now keep it in the corner as well. Besic. Moniama. Oof. Pantelamon. A big save. Low down in the rain. Ooh, Sunderland coming strong and just wide on the break. Not a lot in that first half between the two sides, it's got to be said, as the torrential rain continues here on Merseyside. Second half to come. Game still to be won. Pretty sure that Everton will make the change on about 70 again and look to bring on pressed legs and liven it up. I'm making no changes at the moment. On Sunderland lead and it's Stephen Fletcher on 54 minutes and is Everton's long long run coming to an end 21 games undefeated wouldn't be a good time to lose now We've only three games left in the Premier League but we are a goal down and all to play for here now come on boys pucker up been an incredible run do wonder how long it's gonna go on didn't expect it to last this long. Corner kick, Everton. Instant response would be great. Instant response it is. What a header. Is that James McCarthy? No, it's John Stones with an absolute thunderbolt header. Unmarked. Eight yards out. What a header. Goalie can do nothing about it. Does get slight hands on it, does he? Not really. What a response. 
from perhaps Champions Elite, you've got to say. John Stones with his first goal of the season. And it's 1-1 here on an hour. And where we thought we were going to be chasing a game for a long period, we've got straight back into it. That is a mark of a very good side. Sunderland not giving up it yet. They're fighting for their lives down the bottom of this table, don't forget. Lloyd gives it away cheap. He's not had a, such a good impact starting as he does off the bench. And there's 2-1. Is that Fletcher again? Stephen Fletcher unmarked on the back stick and he's headed, he's buried that comprehensively and it is now 2-1. Bad mistake from John Valoy. It's got to be said, you can't give it away like that. And then unmarked on the back stick and buried. Poor keeping as well from Howard. Everton 2-1 and looking to throw away this title. Another corner to Everton. They're not going to give up about a fight, that's for sure. Giovinco with it, whips it in. Oh, and it was Stones again, and he was so close. For a second goal of the game for John Stones. Let's make these changes before it's too late. Or we get the opportunity. Tired bods out there. I think that's what's cost us dear today, to be fair. Real tired side. Nor Valoy. It was a big risk to play both of them. And take McCarthy and Bartley out. And I don't think it paid off. We've been beaten in the midfield today. And that's probably why. Elchi. Waniyama. Morales. Oh, forces a save. Just a little ball down the channel. And Tillemont's equal to it. Howard is up. Everybody's up. Scored from a corner and missed a good chance from a corner from Stones' header. Stones is the one that gets there. Elche deflection. And Tillemont holds it. That could be the last chance saloon. The unbeaten run could be over. What about the title? Is that Lee in tatters as well? There it is. The 21 game unbeaten run is over. Sunderland are the team to, to do it. Booze out around Goodison because they know what it might mean. It might mean the end of the title hopes. Really, he didn't deserve to lose it, but we have. What are the other results? What does this mean? So big disappointment to lose that game against Sunderland and the 21 game unbeaten streak is over. We're going to save the FA Cup final for a special one-off episode of extended highlights of that. So that wraps up episode 19. Whether that means the league is over and dusted and done with, I'm not sure. But we've got to concentrate on the big cup final in the next episode. But what a great run to get into the top four from Everton. And it had to end at some point. And Sunderland in the rain and Stephen Fletcher have done it. And it's... Well, we're still... should Top three in an FA Cup win would be a great first season here on FIFA 15. Cheers, dudes. Pro Spartan Gamer out.